So if you're trying to lose weight, the most important thing to understand really is what caused the weight gain in the first place. And people say it's all about the calories. And again, it's not because if you put calories into your body, calories is a is a source of food energy, right? Your body can decide what to do with it. You put 500 calories in, your body can decide what to do with it. It can either store it as fat or it can burn it for energy, right? So your heart, your lungs, your kidneys, they all need energy. So what determines that? Well, it's a hormone. So insulin is the major hormone. So when insulin goes up, and this is just its job, right? Insulin is a normal hormone. When you eat and insulin goes up, your body wants to store that energy. That's what insulin is doing, right? And, and, and it's because that if you store energy, when you don't eat, say, after dinner, during that fasting period that you really should have every night, then you're going to need to pull that energy back out, right? Because you're not eating. So where is your heart, your brain, your liver going to get its energy from, right? Well, it's going to be the calories that you stored away. So the, 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 the normal situation is that your body, uh, you, you have a period of time that you eat, insulin goes up, you store those calories. Then there's a period of fasting, you don't eat, insulin falls, that energy comes back out. So your body's really either in this fed state or it's in the fasted state, in which case the fed state, you're storing calories, in the fasted state, you're using calories. And if you keep those balanced, good for you. But different foods are going to have different effects on insulin. So you eat cookies, your body gets this massive signal because these processed foods, remember, don't have natural signaling because you've taken away a lot of these sort of natural foods. So you take a highly processed junk food, uh, you eat it, and you get this much higher than normal spike in glucose, which gives you this much higher than normal spike in insulin, which tells your body, store that energy as fat. So, okay, so now you take, 100 calories of cookies. All of it sucks into your fat stores because you told it to, because that's what the insulin does. Well, where's your body going to get energy from, right? So an hour later, uh, you know, and, and there's no satiety signaling, so you're not feeling full in any way, right? Eating cookies generally doesn't make people feel full. If you drink Coca-Cola, you don't feel full. You could drink that huge big gulp. You don't feel any more full than before, but that's like a thousand calories sitting there, right? So it's not the number of calories that you eat that make you feel full. It's the hormones that make you feel full. You eat a bit of steak. Those satiety hormones, peptide YY, cystocholecystokinin, they go up, they tell you, okay, you're getting full. You drink all that soda, it's a huge number of calories, no satiety signaling, you don't feel full. The problem is, so you eat the cookies, insulin spikes way up, you suck all that energy into your fat stores, but you don't feel full. So an hour later, you go eat more cookies. Same thing happens, right? That's why you can't eat cookies for dinner because you're not going to be full. You're going to be looking for food. And if you're, if you're hungry, you're going to eat, right? And then people say you're overeating. It's like, yes, you're overeating. But the reason is that you didn't eat the foods that made you full and you spike your insulin, so all of it's getting sucked down. Your body has no energy to use because you sucked it all into storage, right? So now you're going looking, looking for food because you're, you, you're like, I need more energy, right? Just like if you take, if you go to the uh, you know, grocery store, right? And you buy groceries and immediately as soon as you get home, you throw that all into your freezer in the basement, right? What are you going to eat? You have nothing to eat. <laughs> So what do you do? You go back to the grocery store, go get more food because you had nothing to eat. Same thing. You eat these uh, ultra processed foods, right? Mostly refined carbohydrates is the main problem, right? It all goes into storage because insulin told it to go into storage. Now you have no energy for the rest of your body. Now you got to go get more. Same thing. So insulin is that major determinant. If on the other hand, you eat uh, you know, an egg or something and insulin doesn't go up, well, there's plenty of energy floating around. Why do you need to go eat, right? So your body's like, okay, I'm getting full. I'm just gonna use the energy here. The difference of course, is that none of that energy went into storage because you didn't tell it to go into storage. Yeah. Hormones are what runs the body. Every single thing in our body runs because of hormones, right? Obesity is no different. So if you're trying to fix obesity, you got to say, what's the problem? Well, what causes weight gain? Well, 
if you think it's calories, well, you'll, you're not going to be very successful because people have done these studies, right? If you simply overfeed somebody, it's very difficult to overfeed somebody natural foods, right? If you keep eating steak, 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 there's a point that you actually have to stop, right? You cannot eat mm -hmm. and eat and eat because those natural foods have satiety hormones. So that's not going to work. However, if you think that insulin is the major cause of obesity, it's a very simple experiment. If you give somebody insulin, do they gain weight? Absolutely. When you give people insulin, it, it doesn't matter who you are. If I give them insulin, they will gain weight. Why? Because the insulin is the hormone that tells them to gain weight. So we know 100% people say, well, that doesn't prove anything. I'm like, I'm looking for causality. If you say insulin causes obesity, the only experiment that I'm interested in is give insulin, do you gain body fat? If the answer is yes, that means it is a cause of obesity. So it's not the only cause. There are other causes, say cortisol, for example, but it is one of the causes and probably a major cause. So therefore, if you say insulin is a cause of obesity, because we know this, then if you want to lose weight, how are you going to lower insulin? Well, obviously, eat less of the foods that spike your insulin or do fasting, which is ultimately about lowering insulin. It's not about lowering calories necessarily. It's about lowering insulin. <laughs>